Make some noise if you're over 30 so I know. Oh, you see? Oh, cool, we could talk about acid reflux. Let's, uh, <laughs> fuck, acid reflux, right? Shit, remember the good old days when you could eat a meal and then go to sleep? Wow, that was, uh, <laughs> woo! When I could eat and then lay down, that's my favorite thing to do is to eat a meal and lay down. Shit, I haven't done that in eight years. Cannot, can't do it, man. I gotta stay up, stay up late. I'm still, I'm up in the apartment till 2 a.m. My roommate said, what are you on, fucking drugs? I'm like, no, I had a slice of pizza at 10.30. <laughs> I, gotta, I, can't, I gotta work it off, man. I gotta, that's good, a lot of you are in the same boat as me. We could, that's cool, we should hang out later and not have garlic. You wanna do that? <laughs> we could do that. I had to get a, uh, I don't know if you guys heard this, I had to get an acid reflux ramp for my bed. Yeah, it's a foam ramp that you put on top of your bed so if you're having issues, you could sleep on an angle so it don't come up. You know what I mean? The acid don't come up, so I had to sleep. Never in my life did I think I'd sleep like this on a ramp. You know who sleeps like this? People about to die. <laughs> yeah, go to any hospital. Those people, they sleep on a ramp. It's like, you know, this is the runway to the afterlife, I realized. <laughs> All you have to do is put a machine in my bedroom with one of those, something beeping, and you'd be like, oh, this is clearly a hospice situation. <laughs> no. It's just the guy that's scared of tomatoes, you know? <laughs> that's living here. One time I had a, a lady guest come over, and I forgot to hide the ramp. <laughs> I, oh. I, didn't, I didn't know what to say, so I just told her it was a sex wedge. Because I'd rather she think I'm a freak than that I can't have spaghetti after 8 p.m. <laughs> I know what I'm doing.